the way that it flapped down was kind of like on that sunscreen bottle and it's the baby like turned around and its whole butt is showing. another wardrobe malfunction story obviously as a performer we have many of these um, <laughs> so I was Roman riding at a rodeo and this is when I was on a team and we had been double booked so one team was at one rodeo somewhere else and then you know I was in Texas at a show and I was not using my own personal pads I was using one of the other girls Roman pads and they have these they were beautiful but they had these big conchos down the side of it and this team that I was using, they were over 16 hands. They are, they were huge. And so at the end of our performance, we would always jump off our horses, go stand in front of them and kind of pay off to the crowd. Well, they were so big and I'm so short that I couldn't just jump off of them without kind of eating some dirt. So I tried to nicely slide off the pads so when I hit the ground I wouldn't fall. Well, when I did, I forgot about those conchos and there's always another girl in the arena with us just in case something happens to grab horses. <laughs> I slide off and one of those conchos rips the entire butt out of my costume. It the way that it flapped down was kind of like on that sunscreen bottle and it's the baby like turned around and its whole butt is showing. That was me in front of a packed house. And I could just feel the breeze because this was another one of those lessons learned to wear underwear under your costume. and better to have underwear lion than a bare butt to the crowd. So the girl in the arena sees that I'm kind of frozen and at that point, the crowd can't see what has happened, but all of the guys on the shoots and the announcer can see what's happened. And she just runs out there and just awkwardly gets like right up behind me. And we kind of shimmy in front of the horses and I sell it. And then we just shimmy backwards out of the arena and she stays right behind me. So yeah, that, uh, luckily the whole audience didn't see it, but all the guys on the shoots and the announcer saw it and like I said, I, I learned to wear underwear after that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Horse Stories on Global Horse Network. We'd like to thank this month's sponsor, the Mustang Heritage Foundation. If you like what we're doing, be sure and click that like button. If you want to leave a comment, be sure and comment below, but be kind because my ego is fragile. You want to be sure to ring that bell if you want to be notified when we're posting new content. And as always, if you want to be part of the Global Horse Network team, be sure and subscribe above.